As the initial clash between the ten presidential secret agents and the first wave of hyenas reached a fever pitch, a distant symphony of motorcycle roars signaled the ominous arrival of a second, equally formidable group. Another contingent of 25 hyenas materialized, their silhouettes emerging like specters from the swirling dust of the battlefield. Among them strode a figure that commanded attention, a figure whose very presence exuded an aura of malevolence and danger. This leader, a grizzled hyena of approximately 55 years, stood at the forefront of his pack, his scarred visage a testament to a life marked by brutality and conflict. A long, jagged scar marred the left side of his face. A cruel reminder of battles fought and wounds endured. On the right side, a tattoo of a young girl adorned his countenance, a bizarre juxtaposition of violence and what appeared to be a fleeting semblance of sentimentality, his eyes, cold and calculating, surveyed the scene before him with a predatory gleam. There was a palpable sense of menace emanating from him, a sense that he was not just a mere combatant, but a force to be reckoned with. His very presence seemed to cast a shadow over the battlefield, heralding the arrival of a new, more dangerous phase in the conflict. As the leader of the hyena pack, he bore the weight of responsibility for their actions, and he relished the opportunity to unleash chaos upon his adversaries. His demeanor was one of unbridled cruelty and ruthless determination, his every movement calculated to strike fear into the hearts of his enemies. The air seemed to thicken with an impending storm as the seasoned hyena leader prepared to unleash a new wave of chaos upon the battlefield. The stakes had risen, and the president's secret agents faced the daunting challenge of confronting not just another group of assailants, but a malevolent force led by a seasoned, enigmatic adversary. For the secret agents, the arrival of the second wave of hyenas marked a critical turning point in the battle. Their ranks had already been depleted by the ferocity of the initial assault, and now they faced the prospect of confronting an even greater threat. But despite the odds stacked against them, they stood firm, their resolve unshaken by the looming specter of danger. As the hyenas closed in, their leader at the forefront, the secret agents braced themselves for the coming onslaught. Each agent knew that they would be tested like never before, that they would be forced to confront their deepest fears and push themselves to their limits in order to emerge victorious, and so, with weapons in hand and hearts ablaze with determination, the presidential secret agents prepared to meet their adversaries head-on, ready to fight with every ounce of strength and courage they possessed. The battlefield trembled with anticipation as the clash of steel and the roar of gunfire echoed through the day, heralding the beginning of a new chapter in the struggle for survival.